What's up guys? It's about that time we're gonna go for a ride in a 1968 Chevelle. Check us out, this is Maple Motors located in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Check us out at maplemotors.com. I got financing and shipping available. I also have 100 detailed pictures of this ride and every car on the lot. This one here's got a uh, aluminum headed 350, aluminum radiator, solid lifters, electric fan, manual valve body. Should be a fun test drive. We'll be taking her down the road, checking everything out so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. At the end of the video, I'm gonna walk around, look at dents, scratches, chips, rust, anything I can find in the paint. We'll also be going over the interior and the trunk to try not miss anything. Guys, hit subscribe, share this video, hit like. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Checking out the interior before we leave here. It's in really good shape. Back seat looks nice. Package tree has got some flaws. We'll get into detail towards the end of the video. You see it's kind of warped back there. The uh, headliner looks great. It's in pretty good shape. It does have a little slit right here. And a little hole here it needs to be touched up. Over on the edge here, you got some uh, paint flaking off on some of the trim. Coming over the dash, it's in good shape. Carpet's a little bit faded here. This is a manual valve body car. Gauges are up and reading. Wipers on this one don't work. There's no wipers on there. And uh, the motor doesn't seem to be working. Blower motor does work on this one. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? A little game we like to play on the channel. Radio on this one. It is working. I don't know about the gas gauge. It looks like it's all the way on full probably doesn't work since it's got a fuel cell back there we are definitely add some fuel to this car on the test drive all right let's hit the road and see how she runs and drives okay getting ready to take off here this is a manual valve body so you got to manually shift it from one to third anything I see I will let you know that's why I make these videos I want to double check my electric fans when we get to the gas station. She's sitting right on 200 right now. It's a very hot day, uh, like 92 right now, very humid. Make sure that electric fan's on, you know, it's circulating the water. It's coming back down already. temperature is still sitting right at 200 which is okay turn the radio off there like I said there's a couple switches below the dash too I just want to make sure our electric fans on when we get up there um, and double check on that it seems to be working pretty good the engine temperature just pulled back down to 180 like that Thermostat opened up, cooled her back off. It's working good. Turn signals are popping up on both sides of the dash. Looks like we're gonna have some rain today. We need it, it is so humid. get some gas put about $20 worth of fuel in this car and uh, I'll let you know if the gas gauge works. Sorry. okay I got $20 in that fuel cell in the trunk uh, it's got Willwood disc brakes in the front that's why it stops so good 
So the gas gauge is probably not gonna work. It's not connected to the fuel cell. I do know we're full on gas now. I topped it off. That way we don't run out. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get the rest of these shots. Get some undercarriage shots. And we'll keep this video going. Just a little shifter there is kind of loose it's still bolted to the floor a little bit loose there engine temperature uh probably about 210 it'll suck down as soon as we take off it is very hot and i sweat all over my arms and stuff i got the windows up in this car though that way you can hear all right let's roll out Temperature sucking back down pretty fast now. The throttle response on this car is instant. Feels great. I think it scared the guy in front of us. <laughs> With a manual valve body, you got to shift down when you're coming up and doing stuff. That way, uh, you keep it in the right gear. I'm gonna make that guy knows half of his trucks hanging out in the road. It's a suburban, not a Tahoe. <laughs> Put her down in a first. We're right around the corner from the car lot. Guys, be sure to hit subscribe, share this video, and hit like. We're getting ready to walk around this car and look for all the chips, scratches, rust, any flaws that I didn't get during the test drive. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys. All right, it's about that time. We're gonna be walking around this 1968 Chevelle here. Point out any kind of chips, scratches, flaws you may need to know about before we get started here. Check out maplemotors.com. Look at the finance options and the shipping options are available for you. There's about 100 detailed pictures as well on that site. This one here's got a, 
350 under the hood with aluminum heads, aluminum radiator, no power steering. A decent paint job. We're going to go over and look for any kind of chip scratches, rust, flaws, dents, whatever I can find. That way you know exactly what you're getting. Fuel cell in the back, batteries back here as well. And since we're already back here, let's go ahead and check the trunk out first. Looks like they painted the deck lid. It's in pretty good shape. Weather stripping in the trunk looks good. It's been replaced. Trunk looks really good. The metal's nice and clean. Look up in the package tray here. It's pretty good. Coming on down with the uh, trunk lid. Keys are in the ignition, so. A little bit of armor all on the window on the inside. You see how that hazes up? What that is, is if you put armor all on the interior and then leave the windows up in the summer, it'll evaporate into your windows and cause it to fog up. It's one of the worst things I don't like about armor all. Okay, we've already checked the trunk out. Let's go to the front of the car and get started here. Looking over the lower bumper in the front, pretty clean chrome. The grill looks good. You got some dents right here, a couple scratches, you got some touch up marks. Got rock guard at the bottom of the car. There's some bubbles popping up right there at the very bottom. You got a chip right there. Also got some more chips down here. Couple bubbles popping up. Up and over the fender. Some touch up marks right there. And back to midsection. There's a little dimple right there in the paint. Got a lot of metallic flake in this paint too. Couple little chips right here on the front. It's like a little chip there. Side of the hood's got a bunch of chips too. The ding in the trim there. Front windshield's not too bad. It's a little hazy from that armor roll. You got some chips down in here behind the back window, a little bubbling popping up. What do we got here? Maybe a quarter has been replaced. I see a line coming down through there. Very faint. To really look to see it. But it does look like that is what has happened. Coming over the back end. Back bumper's in good shape. Exhaust look fairly new coming out the back. Looking over the trunk. A little chip there. Got a little chip here. Like a little spot popping up there the back window looks pretty good it's got tin on it you can see the little spot there in the tent <clears throat> coming down this side of the car your back bumper's got some scratches on the edge there you got some chips at the very back from that tire kicking it up nice set of craggers chips right there along the back fender well a little couple of little bubbles trying to pop up 
You got some bubbles popping up here, right behind the driver's door. Also a little spot there, that scratch there. It's like some cracking popping up in the paint. Some chips at the bottom. You also got some touch-up marks on the inside of that door. Chip right there. Hopping over the fender. You got a scratch right here on the front and a chip there. Coming back down the midsection. Scratch in the middle of the door. Chip here, scratch there. Door handle's pitted. So you got a little chip here. Chips on the edge of the door there. Haziness on the mirror that can be wiped off. Little bubble popping up there. There's some light bubbles popping up in the middle under the paint. That's what I like to call chemical peel. Something that was in the air when they painted the car and it left a bunch of little bubbles all down the fender here. I could feel them. Yeah, you could feel all the little tiny bubbles under the paint there. Got a chip right here in the corner. Sun has faded out some of this paint and it has been brought back, but it still looks pretty good. You can just see kind of little blotchy areas here and there. I don't know if it's popping up on the camera. I'm hoping it does so you know. Coming down the pillar, you got some pitting popping up on your chrome trim there. You got some chunks taken out right here. We'll be taking the hood down and checking it over here in a moment. Chips there. Couple chips up in the front. And here. Okay, we made it around this ride. Now we're going to go ahead and check the interior out, get her started up, listen to the motor, and uh, head on to the next car. Coming up in the door panel here, the weather stripping looks good around the door. Looking at the bottom. Bottom of the door right there has been kicked. You can see the little screw hole in there. The little screws are missing. Door panel looks pretty good. Jams look pretty good. They're not bad. A couple touch-up marks. The carpet in this one looks good. Seats in good shape. I do like the hump. Oh, there's the rod. I don't went and grabbed a broomstick. They have a rod for the uh, hood because the springs are missing out of the hood. They got an aftermarket hood in here package trays a little bit warped see in the back corner there headliner is in good shape though it looks good nice and straight oh there's a little rip right there it needs to be touched up other than that headliner's in good shape manual valve body floor shifter hearst a couple gauges up here Wipers do not work. They're not even on there. And the little the dials aren't spinning. So they're gonna need some work anyways. Horn does work. Blower motor. Blowing on my feet. No AC. Radio. Cutting on. Yeah. It is working too. Temperature gauge is coming up, oil pressure's up.
electric fan, solid lifters. He's ready to rock and roll. Okay guys, don't forget, hit subscribe, share this video, it helps us out a lot. You can also check out all the videos we have here on YouTube. There's over 2,000 reviews on cars. And we do this pretty much daily. We got all kinds of classes, classic cars here at Maple Motors. And uh, we just honest and upfront. If you need financing or shipping, it's at maplemotors.com. Three companies to choose from. You can also uh, see those detailed pictures we provide about every car. For now, I'm going to go ahead and pick another car out and go for a ride. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.